I would call myself an avid fan of One Piece, but the sheer length sometimes makes it difficult to recommend, and I often see videos or posts written by other fans saying it takes a while to get good, and that if someone wasn't enjoying the series, that the Arlong arc will change their mind. I disagree with that sentiment though. I would argue that it's not that simple, for two reasons. The first being, the Arlong arc works as the climax to the East Blue Saga, and at that point we already know everything we need to about these characters to be invested. The second is that the characters and their goals remain unchanged. I'm not going to pretend to be objective. I love the fights, the odd character designs, the bravado, the screaming, so this will be mostly me justifying the early parts of the East Blue Saga, because I think it's a great introduction, but I will have to vaguely spoil a few plot points here and there. Since it's the starting point of the series, it's all about the setup, the One Piece, the greatest treasure in the world, and our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, who seeks it to become the Pirate King. What I like about the character introductions is that Ichiro Oda focuses on who these people are before we see what they do. Using Zoro as an example, he's tied up, beaten, left to starve for a month, nearly shot to death, and spends most of his backstory getting his ass kicked. All before we see him utilize his three sword style. Heck, the first chapter we only get a couple of pages of Luffy as an adult. So what it boils down to is they aren't just cool characters, we also want to see them succeed. The first few arcs are entertaining, though not original and rather simple. Luffy travels from island to island, gathering crewmates, charming the inhabitants, and beating baddies. But just when the rhythm starts to settle, they mix things up. A new storyline starts with Nami robbing the crew and taking off with the Going Merry, followed by Zoro's duel with Mihawk, before returning to the arc. It seems like it comes out of nowhere, and it does. Characters appear, and events take place at random, but if you're willing to stick with it long enough, you'll find a satisfying conclusion. If it's frustrating not knowing where the plot is going, One Piece only layers the number of plot lines even in a single arc, and in my opinion, that's when it's at its best. I wouldn't call it complex, as Luffy's solutions to all dilemmas is punching it in the face, and it's not a complete rambling mess, because we have established characters to share the journey with that usually know about as much as we do. I want to get back to the Arlong arc. It's a highlight in the story, sure. We learn of Nami's depressing backstory and her friends come to fight to free her and Kokoyashi village. But it also feels as if they have something to prove. Zoro's fight with Hachi is less about who will win and more about his redemption after a humiliating defeat. Usopp finds the courage to stand up to a superior enemy. Luffy admits his strengths and weaknesses and acknowledges his crew and fights his toughest opponent so far. And Sanji breaks a rock. Well, at least that's more than anything Yasuku or Johnny did. I think the problem with promising that the arc will change people's minds implies that this will happen often. But this is more of a third act. The time in between is spent on character development, humor, and exploration. I do have criticisms of the East Blue Saga. As mentioned, it's nothing innovative and it's pretty long. But my major problem is that it doesn't show off any of the world building that is vital to their adventures after they enter the Grand Line. We get a ton of different characters, cultures, and environments that create a living world. Oda puts a lot of thought and care to how it all works. It's a shame there aren't any real hints about this in East Blue. If you've made it through a few chapters or episodes and remained unimpressed, I don't believe there's any particular moment that's going to change how you feel about One Piece. It's not as if it switches genres or premises at any point. However, to anyone who has read as far as the Arlong arc and is wondering if it gets better or still has reservations about it, I think owes it to themselves to at least read past Reverse Mountain. Looking at the series as a whole, the grand line sets the pace and when it truly becomes an epic adventure. Now I'm going to say something that not everyone is going to want to hear. The anime is not the best way to get into One Piece. I love the music, and there are some great bits of animation. But like its contemporaries, it is bloated with stretched out scenes, recaps, and fillers. The manga is long, but the pacing is comparatively better. Additionally, you get to see Oda evolve as an artist over the course of 20 years. Well, thanks for listening, and hey! Check out some of our other videos.